Today I will show you how you can make a multi-boot laptop for car diagnosis. We don't uh, using another programs, it is only native Windows installed. And I will show you also how you can change these uh, names. Like for example, what you have here Windows 10, you can put uh, the name, what uh, do you like to, to have it here to show on the screen. Uh, this uh, interface looks in the blue color and not in the old uh, BIOS color because it is installed Windows 10. The last Windows installed is Windows 10. If you install Windows 7 and you like it to use Windows 7, you will have like this. Okay, you can install with the old graphic bias. Everything uh, I installed here also five or six times uh, here, I mind, five or six times Windows 7. And when I install Windows 10, everything changed like that. It's the last uh, version from Windows 10. Okay, uh, if you want to go forward to, to see how many Windows they are installed here, how many partitions, Windows 10 will display you only six of them. You will press here tab on the button. And now I don't know if you are able to see, but it is the same here. And where you can press enter. And we'll still have one more. But depends on you. If you have a big uh, hard disk, you can do it also 10 partitions and 10 windows. And if you ask why it's necessary to have multi boot laptop, it is because, for example, when you use the diagnosis like this one, it works also on, on Ford and Mazda, but not on the same Windows install at the same time. And you should have on a different partition. And this one is capable to work with seven or eight brands, uh, different brands, okay? Actually, I make this multi-boot hard disk on this laptop with uh, the program supported for this uh, diagnostic, okay? Then one it's uh, Mercedes, what you can use it. We go here on see more operating system, sorry. In all of this one from here, I do have installed a different Windows. For example, I, I have everywhere Windows 7. Only for Mazda and uh, Ford is necessary to have Windows 10 because it doesn't support anymore Windows 7. For example, uh, Mazda is the last version 1.2.2 or 1.2.3. It doesn't support anymore Windows 7. And also over here where it's Windows 10, I do have the uh, software installed for Ford. And the last one it's 1.2.3 at the moment. And it doesn't support also Windows 7. Then it's necessary to have Windows 10. When you try to install this one on Windows, Windows allowed you only to have uh, three partitions. Then what I want to tell you, you cannot have it more than three uh, partitions on, on the same uh, hard disk. Now it starts, it takes longer than this one. I don't know, the, the interface, the boot interface from here, the BIOS interface is 10 times much, much quicker than this one. Also, when you press the restart button and it loads uh, all these windows together, it takes a lot, a lot of time. And now, when he starts, I will show you first how you can change the name. To doesn't, uh, to doesn't display you any more Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8. Okay, and after that, I will show you how you can make more partition. As I said, it's Windows allowed you only to have three partitions on the one hard disk. As you can see, we have here the software from Ford. The name, it was Windows 10. And now I will show you how you can change the name. You type here CMD.
right click okay we'll run as administrator and then here you will press the command i will write also on, on the screen to see better what i'm talking about b c d edit it's together then you have space then e and U aim and hit enter okay and you will put again here p c d edit space then set description then you have space and now you will you will select uh, the name then in our case it's fourth and now you will hit the enter button and as you can see the operation complete successfully We will restart the PC and we will see when he will boot, we will have name uh, for the not anymore Windows 10. I start first to showing you this interface and then after that I will show you how, how we can make these partitions. We don't have the headache. You will notice then he will take a little bit. I don't want to skip it. Then you can see also how much time he need to come on the boot uh, menu on this bias boot i press nothing i just wait you will believe he will load the windows but actually he will load all these uh, windows installed what i want to mention you is if you want to have a windows what to use every day install it uh, this windows the last one like for example in our case i installed last uh, windows 10 and now i change the name on the on ford and it's the last one if you want to have for example nissan the first one then when we install the windows be sure then last windows install it it is for nissan because the computer if you don't press uh, for a proper system, he will boot the, the last one installed. We have it for, and for example, I go here on Honda. I hit enter, you will see we have uh, Windows 7. But when he will boot, he will start automatically on the last Windows. You understand my point? Okay. We have now the windows over here with Honda software. As I said, it works also with this one. This was the reason. And now let's jump to another PC where I can show you. For example, you cannot have more than three partition. For example, here you cannot install the windows. This is clear. I do have one partition and second one. I will delete this one. And let's create another. Let's see how many we can create it. Let's create another one. Also 90 gig. Okay. We do have one, two, three. The fourth one. As you can see, Windows cannot make more partitions. It doesn't matter you have Windows 7 or you have Windows 10. It can do only three partitions. Actually, four with this one, but this one is not a partition. This one is allocated for the system. 
then you'll have one, two, three, and this one it's not ready to use. I'll keep like that. Hmm, I can do format on this one, and after that I will uh, reboot the PC and I will show you how you can make more partitions and install Windows native on them. It's not necessary, as I said, to use special programs and pay a lot of money. It is a very simple job. Okay, we will reboot this PC and we move from there. And now after computer is uh, booting again. As I said, we have three partitions over here. And another one, it doesn't uh, appear here because, as I said, Windows can make only three uh, partition on each hard drive. And now it's very simple. You can create the partition with this one. Or with magic partition also. It is not... Uh, 100% necessary to use uh, this program. You can use also another one. Okay, you have one, two, three, four primary, and this is uh, logical. And here you, you press on him and just create. Okay, we'll delete this one and we'll uh, we will have now also logical partition on this one and now we can create it one after each other. Then you delete the, the last one because it allows you only to have three primary and then we will do another one uh, on logical but this uh, doesn't matter because anyway you can install windows on this partition and now let's create a few partitions And so far, it depends how many you want to create. And depends also which uh, dimension do you, you, you need. At this moment, we have seven partitions. I will apply. This changes. And it's almost done. It takes a long time because the hard disk is it's old and it's not so fast. I just put it here to on the computer to show you how you can do it. But I don't use anymore this uh, hard disk. Okay. And then we will wait. And now it's finished. Okay. When you go in the computer, you will have all these partitions over here. So you see, we had seven here and one who is reserved for the system. And as I said, you don't have a number for this. You can 
do it also if you need 10, 15, 20 partitions, it's up to you on one hard uh, drive. I will restart the computer and we will boot and you can be also able to see over there you can install Windows on every partition. And now as you can see in every partition you can install Windows, look. See I load you everything and all the partitions are over here. If you like to have a multi-boot PC like this one, you should know you need few good hours, around 4-5 or five hours. I will tell you something, if you want to use the hard disk from this laptop, for example, in another one, when you install the Windows, do not install drivers for uh, wireless or kind of drivers, nothing. You just leave the uh, Windows without uh, a driver. And now you know how you can modify all these names in the Windows. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.